Our ninth presenter is Nicole C. Oval, whose presentation is titled The Super Sniffer, Parabolic Ionization Needle Mass Spectrometry. Picture a castle made of Legos sitting in front of you. What if I asked you which individual pieces it's made of? You would take it apart and sort each of the pieces into piles. That's what chemical analysis instruments called mass spectrometers do. Except the Lego castle is your sample, and instead of sorting Legos by shape and color, it sorts individual atoms and molecules by their mass and charge. This gives us enough information to tell exactly what chemicals are in that sample. Mass spectrometers can only see charged particles, which are called ions. So the first thing they do is give a positive or negative charge to each chemical in that sample. The part that does this is called the ion source. However, many ion sources uh, require certain sample preparation steps to be followed, um, which can be inconvenient, costly in terms of time and materials, and can even chemically change or destroy your sample. To circumvent this, we developed an ion source that allows the mass spectrometer to act as an electronic nose, the super sniffer. The sample simply needs to be held up to the ion source and the mass spectrometer smells it. But it can smell things that we humans cannot smell. For example, you can take a pill, hold it up to the ion source, and immediately identify it as ibuprofen. You can hold your finger up to it and it can smell the caffeine emanating from your skin if you've had a cup of coffee that day. You can even take a dollar bill out of your pocket, scan the edge of it, and it can detect the trace amounts of cocaine that are present on 90% of American paper currency. It works using corona discharge, a highly energetic electrical plasma that emanates from the ultra sharp parabolically shaped tip of a needle that we make in the lab out of inexpensive, commercially available tungsten wire. When molecules emanate from the sample into the air, they're sucked into the mass spectrometer and on their way, they pass through the plasma where they pick up a charge and become ions. We've had the pleasure of using this device in collaborative projects, including testing pharmaceuticals that had orbited the Earth with SpaceX and non-destructively analyzing the contents of an ancient Egyptian artifact with the Carnegie Museum of Natural History down the street. This simple and inexpensive device allows us to use mass spectrometry to run sensitive yet non-destructive chemical analyses directly from the air and do so in less than the amount of time it took me to tell you this. Thank you. Thank you.